This is one of the most effective ways to defend the bunch offset formation in Madden 25. Bunch offset being probably the most popular offense to uh, in Madden 25. We're going to be breaking down kind of a tutorial video where we're going to show you a really good defense for bunch that is really effective. And it's actually a new defense in the Dime 3-2 formation which has previously been known as the dollar formation. Now, to run this defense effectively, what I tend to like to do here is we're going to have our auto flip defense play call off. We're going to have our auto alignment on base, our option defense on conservative, and we're not going to have any of these zone drops set. Now, dollar three two, in my opinion, is probably the best blitzing formation in the entire game. We have a full defensive ebook on this defense in our school community. If you're not a school community member yet, it's only $10 to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for College Football 25. So if you want to join the school site, the link is going to be in the description below. Now, one of the cool features that they actually added into this game is they added some coverages into Dollar that was not previously there. Match coverages that are really effective in this game, such as cover four quarters, cover four palms. Now, this defense did have cover six in the years past, but it didn't have the cover six willy. It didn't have um, things like that. The cover four quarters, cover four palms. Those are really good defense. So what I like to do here is we're going to be coming out in the cover four quarters coverage and this you're going to see this defense is really good. The reason why this defense is so good specifically out of dollar is due to the fact that we are able to basically play a stock defense and play really, really good against bunch. So what I like to do here is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to slant our defensive line inside, and then we're going to user this blitzing guy right here. Now, the reason we're going to blitz him is because we're going to improve our sheds by doing this. And the other thing that I like to do here is go ahead and deep half this bunch side safety. The main reason we're doing that is because this is going to prevent any kind of deep one play touchdowns or anything like that. But we're going to first show this, and I'm going to spy my D-line just so you can kind of see how the coverage plays. But I want to first show you this against the most popular play in the game, and that is the double post with a streak. So what you're going to see in terms of how this is going to play is this is going to do a really good job. You're going to see here that this inside quarter is going to match that post, and he's going to take that completely away from the offense. Now, another thing that is really good in this game is the corner routes to the to the bunch side. So if they were to do a stem down corner route, let's say it looks something like this, you're going to see that this defense literally stock just takes it away. It's completely bagged. You're not going to be able to throw that and you're going to be able to play really, really good defense on that. And again, all we're doing is we're basically just running a stock defense. We, the, the, You don't even have to really deep half this guy, I would say. But I do think it is kind of helpful uh, just to make sure that there's no bombs that they can run on you. And then I love to blitz my user because I like to have my, my user blitz because it's going to make the blitzes better. Now, one of the new features with match coverage this year is this actually is also going to defend verticals really, really well. Now, again, regardless, this is a shed defense, so we're not trying to blitz. Um, and I'll show the sheds in just a minute, but I want you to see here first and foremost, how this covers all the best bunch plays. You see we get a great match here on verticals, and this crosser is going to be bagged by that match quarter. So all you basically have to do with your user is pretty much just defend kind of the running back underneath or the tight end if he goes on like a deep route. So what I like to do here, um, let's say they run something like that verticals play. We're just going to kind of kind of peel over here oh we see the running back we're going to take him and you see we're going to play really really good defense now there i forgot to put that deep half um which is why that crosser was ultimately open one of the real underrated things the deep half also does is it stops all the bombs it stops all the bombs but it also uh, does a really good job of kind of programming this quarter to take anything that crosses the field so you see here that cross around gets matched we're just kind of poaching that running back and then you see the sheds that, are, that we're able to get within the defense so you have super good coverage on this play another popular combo uh, from bunch it's been really good for a long time is basically a cross concept where they're going to do something like this and what you're going to see here again is this quarters play again it looks very similar it looks very much so like everything else we're doing here right but again, what are we going to get here? We're going to get this match. So you see that tight end is not going to have to worry about that. Look at that slot post get matched by that quarter. That quarter does such a good job this year of taking anything across the field. And this this is a bag. This is an absolute cage uh, for a bunch. Take a look at this and how it defends, again, some of the best plays in the game 
for Bunch. You see here, look at that tight end taken away. Look at that post route get matched by that inside quarter. We're bomb protected. You're not going to have to super worry about this. Now, the one thing I will say that is kind of something that you can also uh, add into your game you don't have to press this coverage. So sometimes this coverage can actually be better if you don't press it and if you just leave it like this. Now, I would still really recommend deep halving, and you're going to see here that this double post, post or double post C route is going to really get defended really well by that outside. Now, the reason why you might not want to press, guys, is because it just helps with kind of defending the big plays that uh, people could sometimes get some random stuff with that solo receiver on a streak. If you pre if you don't press, it'll never ever be open. And then here again, you see we're just playing really good defense against some of the best plays. The main thing you're looking for with your user is you're mainly looking for anything across the field. So, like, if it is a crossing route, like, let me sh show you a, a combo that people will use. They'll do something like this, right? Kind of have some different high-low reads. If they ever do something like this, you're just going to take this across and kind of help, right? Now, I forgot to deep half, which is why that streak was actually kind of a touchdown. So, let me show you. And that's why we deep half. So, kind of kind of see how that worked out so again the main thing is we're really looking for this tight end if this tight end goes across the field we're going to need to take him vertically if he's underneath it's not a big deal but if he's vertical like a post like what i just showed you this is something where we're going to want to take this tight end but essentially you see here look at that inside quarter he'll catch that tight end that deep half is right there for that seam streak and then you also are getting some match concepts on that so let's take a look it's probably one of the best plays they could run for this defense and you're going to see here that ultimately this plays really, really well, right? The only thing they really have is that running back underneath, which we could have used that. Um, but pretty much everything else is going to be taken away. So this is one of my favorite defenses. I don't run this every single play against Bunch. But in certain situations, this is a great mix-in uh, to be able to have to just take away some of the things that Bunch does really, really well. And you really probably are underestimating the power of this deep half over here and what this does because they just can't run. Like, even if they run like – even if they run like this corner oh, – let me see if I can actually get it to work here. Even if they run this corner, look at this quarter. It just takes it away. Like, he's right there. That's a KO. Like, you just have – you you have the ability to take away a lot of stuff uh, with your actual match concept, match coverage. So, I love this defense against Bunch. I think this is really, really effective. I wouldn't run this every single play, but I think as a mix-in, this Bunch defense right here is really good at defending some of the best plays in the game. And it's not super – it's not super risky this year. You actually have a pretty safe way to play match – in dollar which is the best coverage in the game best best defense for coverage in the game so if you guys enjoyed the video you'll love the dollar defensive ebook we teach you how to stop everything in the game make sure that you join that uh, school community to get access to all of our ebooks the cool part about being a member is you get access to everything for just joining uh, for just ten dollars the link is in the description down below if you want to want to go sign up